Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. I'm Dawn and Lindsay Star over at Artisted Isle sent me some more paints and we'll be looking at them. The one thing I could say about paints from Artistic Isle made by Lindsay Star is her packaging. Lindsay goes the extra mile to make every customer that she has feel special. And so these second round of paints that I got from her came beautifully packaged. I, and again with another exceptional handwritten note from Lindsay. They came in their own palettes, which I now use to keep my, um, my, eraser in and I put the remainder of the tapes in here and also she sent me some samples and this glitter pen but well, we will not be looking at the glitter pen today but we will look in at the additional paints that I got from Lindsay we all know that I got previously 10 colors from Lindsay along with two samples and those 10 colors that I originally got were Azo yellow, gold ochre, light yellow ochre, elder wan, red alder, Venetian red, Nure black, phalo blue, French ultramarine, and sap green. Well, I've now added to that collection of carmine. I believe this is or colando orange empirical or imperial i'm not sure where i got empirical from but imperial purple cerulean blue azure sea green and grass green and you can all see them here i've also swatched them out and i will show you now how they are swatched this is the ercolano orange it's this beautiful deep almost reddish type of orange here is the carmine, the imperial purple, cerulean blue, azure, sea green, and grass green. And if you notice, it complements the palette wonderfully. Okay, so Lindsay did send me a few more samples to try, and as you notice, they're still in their packaging. I haven't tried them as yet. But just to refer what these some of these colors are, she has sent me to try the goldenrod, Indian red, pine, desert blue, African violet, nor. She has also sent me a ferrite yellow. I'm not certain, but this is a violet. I think it's mantony because some of the dots went over the words. And she also sent me moon shadow. I haven't swatched them yet. I've just been so busy with my regular day-to-day -day job that I haven't really had a time to swatch them, but I will swatch them out and see how amazing they are. So as you can see before, the palette was very red. And now with these additional colors, my palette is well complemented. It gives me a range of color variations and depth and mood. And so now my palette is not more one-sided. This really did complement my palette beautifully. And that's the reason why I now keep them all in one thin instead of use the two separate palettes that Lindsay had provided because they all complement each other amazingly. And like all of Lindsay paints, they are heavily granulated. It does move well in water and they're very light fast. And for the colors that I got, well, the new colors that I got, it's very bright. How rude of me. I haven't introduced you guys to my new friend. This is my new friend, Nine. He's a stick figure who is right now helping, assisting me in drawing basically people and movements and fluidity. And I'm so sorry guys. And he's actually waving to you guys all this time. I'm just ignoring him. I'm so sorry, Nine. Well, Nine, meet YouTube, YouTube meet Nine. And now we'll be using these paints on an illustration. See my illustration, my little cat. And I'll be discussing with you guys about this paints when I'm done. Okay guys, just before I start doing my, um 
paint this illustration with some of Lindsay's paint, I just want to do another small disclaimer. If you hear little chicks chirping in the background or if you hear dogs barking, it's because, well, I'm basically almost on a little farm. Um, my husband and I are trying to nurse some little chicks who's just been hatched basically like two days ago. And well, we have our dogs in the yard and they don't really like strangers who pass by or squirrels or rabbits or whatever other wild animal decide to come into the yard. So you may hear them in the background and you also will hear the birds in the background. And where we live, it's outside the city, so you will hear constantly motor vehicles passing up and down. Okay, so uh, I'm finished. My paint is now in the stage of drying. I love using artistic aisle paints. I enjoy using Lindsay products. Um, if you notice, even though I have just these little containers of paints here, I this is the ultramarine blue, and this was part of the one that came in the first set. And if you notice, I still have plenty of paints left especially for small artworks like these so it's very cost effective very affordable she does give you a lot of paints and I like the little magnets to the bottom it even inspired me to get some of these little magnets and put to the bottom of my other paints and that's it Thank you so much and join me next time for another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. Say bye now. Bye.